Hello everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today we're going to continue exploring Castle Finn's basement in search of the White Mask. The end of our previous episode, we made our way through the first basement floor of Castle Finn. We still have a few more floors to make our way through. We'll end up finding a few new monsters and plenty of treasure along the way, so let's continue onward. We'll just go on down here to the second basement floor of Castle Finn. On this floor, we'll be able to find three treasure chests, and in the interest of time, I'm going to be using the B button dash in today's episode. So let's find our first chest off to the right and then up to the north from the staircase. So let's go east and then north here. And we're going to get to run into a couple of new enemies. We're going to get to fight changers and brains. Zombie food. I'm sure all the zombies that I encountered on the first floor would be happy to be down here on the second floor with all the brains floating about. Now, both the changers and the brains can cast a level 4 swap spell on your party members. If that spell connects, it will exchange their HP and MP with yours. Uh, thereby probably significantly reducing your HP and MP. Now the brains can also cast a level 6 fog spell which uh, has a pretty good chance of silencing your party. So be wary of these things. Uh, looks like the changers have about 140 hit points, the brains have about 240. I guess about the only good thing that can be said about these things is they're not wearing a full set of body armor. I enjoy seeing both people and animals suffer. Yikes, that would make them really scary, wouldn't it? So, good thing that they're just floating about by themselves, so I'm just going to have Fearing Attack. Uh, for fun, I'm going to have Maria use the Toad Spell. It's about to level up anyway. We'll go ahead and have uh, Guy cast Berserk on the party. And I guess we'll just have Layla attack there. There's the level 4 swap spell in action. Let's see if it connects. Nope, doesn't work on Layla. There's what the level 1 toad spell looks like. And of course it's probably going to miss there at level 1. Alright, now that we're berserked up, should be in good shape. Okay, that's going to take care of the brain. Now all we have left are the changers and the parasites. So let's have Maria cast the Aura spell. That should do a pretty good job of increasing everybody's attack power. That will actually give an element to everybody's attack, so we'll put that on everyone. We'll have Guy attack and we'll have Layla cast Thunder on all four enemies for some extra damage. Okay, there's the level 2 Aura spell. Looks like it works on all 40 party members, so should do some extra damage now to the remaining enemies. I'll just take out these parasites here. Yep, see how much more damage you can do with Aura. That only works better against certain enemies, though. Okay, we're going to take out the last parasite there. And... Fortunately, swap did not work, but if it does, that's a pretty good way to increase your HP and your stamina. I'm leveling up Guy's Spears now, and uh, wow, it looks like you got an MP bonus there too. All right, we get a new entry in the bestiary. Let's scroll down here to find the changer, number 57. That one's rank 3. The brain is rank 5, and it is number 58 in the bestiary list. Okay, here's our first chest. Inside here we'll find a much needed ether. So from here let's go west and head towards the southwestern corner of this room. Yep, that aura spell definitely makes things easier. And Guy got another spear level increase after that battle. Well, we'll just find a potion in this chest. Those are becoming increasingly less useful at this point in the game and beyond. Final chest should be just up ahead here. I had to spend some time healing up Maria after that battle. That swap spell worked on her, but she did get an HP gain after the end of that battle, as was expected. Well, a pretty blonde girl is going to reach up and kiss Furion. He gets a maiden's kiss from this chest. 
Well, no, not really. Maiden's Kiss is an item that will cure the Toad status element. I bet he wishes Hilda was in there. Okay, that's all the treasure. Let's make our way to the staircase now. It's available in the northeastern corner of the room. There it is. And Furion gets a magic defense level increase. It's now level 5 after that battle. And here we are on the third basement floor of Castle Finn. Just like the previous floor, this floor is going to have three treasure chests for the taking. Let's go south for the first one. There it is. And we're going to get to run into a new enemy, Killer Mantis. Would two of them be Killer Manti? Well, they're weak against ice. I believe they have about 750 HP. Rank 5 monster. So, uh... Let's just try this strategy. We'll have Maria use her level 6 Blizzard spell to freeze up Killer Mantis number 2. It can do some pretty hefty damage, though. We'll find a lot of these on this particular floor, I believe. Okay, we take out Killer Mantis number 1 there. And Guy gets an intelligence bonus. We get a new entry in the bestiary. I just have to scroll down here to number 87 to find Killer Mantis's entry. There you go. Now let's open up this chest and find a high potion. I've been using quite a few of those. It's good to replenish those. Okay, the next chest is in the southwestern corner. Guy's Berserk spell goes up to level 6 after that battle. And over here we'll find our second treasure chest and find a flame shield inside. Yeah, that blizzard spell does come in handy against those killer manti. They're pretty annoying otherwise. Okay, here's our third chest. And inside this chest we will find a spider silk. Okay, here is the staircase that will take us down to level 4 of Castle Finn's basement. And once again, we'll be able to find three more treasures. Okay, next, or actually the first chest on this floor is just to the right. There it is. Now, it may be a good idea to make sure that you have full health before opening up this chest because it is going to be a monster box, so there's just a warning there for you. Inside this chest, we'll find a new staff from Aria, a power staff. But as mentioned, it's a monster in a box, and it can be a bit difficult, especially if you run into several specters, so good luck to you, and hopefully good luck to me here. Oh, that was a close call. I nearly died at the end of that battle. Actually, Firion was turned to stone, and Maria was put to sleep, and she woke up and was able to use a gold needle on Firion. Man. Well, let me heal up here real quick. I'm glad I brought those extra gold needles along now. Okay, let's put the power staff on Maria that will take her attack power up to 99. Very nice. Boy, I hate those specters. Okay, let's go up this way to find our next treasure chest. It's actually tucked away in a nook up here. There we go. And inside here we'll find flame armor. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on Maria. That will replace her knight's armor. Take her defense up to 50. Okay, there's the uh, next chest down there in the southeastern corner. So we'll just zoom right on up here and pick up a betrayal thing. And that is the last chest on this floor. So let's go on downstairs here to the fourth, actually the fifth basement floor of Castle Finn. And there is one treasure chest available on this floor, so let's go pick it up. There it is. Now before we open this chest, it may be a wise idea to heal up and save your game right here. So uh, I've already done that, so let's open up this chest to find a very nice knife. This is the Orichalcum knife inside. And yep, it's going to be a monster in a box. We are going to get to fight Ryos. A little bit stronger than the Chimera. Rank 5 monster, 750 HP. And they can turn you to stone with their bad breath attack. So that's why I recommended saving because they do have a chance of wiping you out just kind of like the Spectres do with their stone attack. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Aura and I'm going to go ahead and Berserk Furion. Pretty high attack power otherwise. 
I'm fortunate though, I only have to fight two. You can fight up to four of these. There's the bad breath attack. Ooh, fortunately it missed. And Maria takes out the last Rios. Get some gains there. All right, let's go ahead and for now equip the Orichalcum on Layla. That will take her attack way up to 89. Okay, let's go get the White Mask now. We have got several doors here. Which one do we pick? Let's pick this one right here. And we'll go up here to find a chest and inside we will pick up the White Mask and we got what we came for. And that's all the time we are going to have for today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. This has been Vortex 259. Thanks for watching today. See you next time.